Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahasha, Basham Ramachpadash, Dabalana, Santa the Elder, Apostles, and Great Millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the Sensei Akim across the world. Now, this is a video that I have gotten from one of the brothers, and I'm going to play it, right? Dear South Africans, 24 days ago, we had a home invasion. My fiance was murdered and I was wounded. Now, these are the Dutch people that live in South Africa right now, right? And you have to know that these Dutch people was one of the most cruelest devils that did the slavery thing right upon our people that were responsible for slavery upon our people right in America in South America also which is uh, the Dutch Guyana and in different places also in West Africa they was there uh, along with the Belgium which is from the guy that calls himself King Leopold II you know, I did a video about that, but uh, yeah, I'm going to focus on this one for now. And I'm going to leave this link in the description box so you can check this out for yourself. Netherlands tried to cover up this brutal truth. And there's an Edomite talk in here. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put this link in the description box. And then you're going to see what type of the, the Dutch Golden Age, what type of shit that they was doing, what type of stuff that they was doing. And uh, yeah. Right, so going on. Six times. She was violated six times. The way I'm feeling right now. Yeah, yeah. It's the same way that you had left our ancestors feeling. It's the same way that you had left the Hamites feeling in South Africa over there. That's what you're feeling. This country is growing to shit. This country is growing to shit. Now, remind, I'm going to remind this little memo that that's the same way that the Native Americans was feeling when you devils came over there. That's the same way that the slaves were feeling when you devils came over there in uh, South Africa, uh, sorry, uh, West Africa. That's the same way that the Hamites, that South African people were feeling when you Edomites came over there into that country and then they looked at each other and within themselves and then they said this country is going to shit that's exactly the same words that they were saying but you know what the difference is you're not in chains they didn't slap a chain around your neck nor hung you from a tree so you're still lucky you're considered to be the privileged ones Now my question is, is when will South Africans start standing up? You, you hear this bullshit, babe? When will South Africans start standing up? She's not talking about the rape, rob, murder that they did upon the South Africans for them to, in order for them to actually be up in that land right now. She's talking about themselves. You see, you can't reason with a devil. Now, this is the book of, where did I put it? I think it's I don't know if it's here yes it is Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 whose possessors slay them they are the ones that are put well this is for the Israelites by the way but I can apply it for what I'm about to explain right now they are the ones that are possessing meaning they occupied the land of South Africa right now whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. This is what they did in slavery with us. And, then, and until this day, they own us. Because we are still found in their lands. And still found in their hands. Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. And if he be found in his hand. We are still found in their hands. He shall surely be put to death. Wait a minute. This, this, doesn't, this, this did not happen yet. Hmm. Okay. So we're looking forward to this in the future, right? Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, Verily, surely, there is a reward for the righteous. Yes. 
There is a reward. What is the reward? Your blood. We don't want no money. We don't want your reparations. We don't want none of that. Well, I don't. I did see in the comment board, I see a lot of people want money and stuff like that. You know, hey, whatever. I don't want your money. What I want for you is to live worse than us. And you will, according to the scriptures, which is these two right here. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it right now. And later on, I'm going to read it again. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, 100%. All means 100%. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Rape, rob, murder. Thy reward, what you deserve, shall return upon your own head. So what you gave us, the reward that you gave us, rape, rob, murder, shall return upon your own head. Your own wages will you, f you, will you, f will you get. Um, right. You're going to get it back, what you deserve. Uh, some scriptures jumped in my head right now. Psalms chapter 9, verse 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. <laughs> you're going to get what you deserve. What you did dished out is what you're going to get. Psalms chapter 10, verse 2. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Then let them, sorry, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. This also goes into the RFID chipping, the New World Order, enslavement of the Israelites once more again, which is what they want, and the extermination of the majority of the people, especially us, a majority of the people on the planet, or even themselves, by the way. Safe and effective is just one of the ways that they uh, tend to do that. And they plan to exterminate the Israelites, but the Heavenly Father is going to exterminate Edomites. Beautiful. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, that new world order. All these movies that you see with the post apocalyptic sceneries, like, for example, this. It's about that sceneries. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, scenarios, okay. Yeah, these type of movies. I Am Legend, The Domestics. There's uh, The Road, you know. There's a lot of movies that have these at the, uh, the end. <laughs> that it, well, the end is going to be like a Terminator, which is a wall of fire. And it's going to annihilate and dis disintegrate these type of th these buildings. Yeah, here's the road, the movie. Here, 10 scariest post-apocalyptic apocalyptic scenarios. Yeah, this is a good uh, movie. Cannibalism is going to come back to the people. And that's in the scriptures. The book of Isaiah 13, if I'm correct. If I'm correct. Right, so a lot of movies, you know, that's their heart's desire. That's what they want to do. There's many more movies, but I can't figure, I can't come up with a bunch of them right now. So, for the wicked boasted, boasted of his heart's desire, the New World Order, for example, and blessed the covetous, and blessed the covetous, right? Their covetousness, they actually, the, the things that they get, they find themselves blessed. Whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is not at all in his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. They, they, don't, they don't think about the law of the Lord. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. <laughs> he had said in his heart, I shall not be moved. For I shall never be in adversity. You are in adversity now, Esau. She the might, she saw. When we have You shouldn't pity these people. Ezekiel chapter seven, verse one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, unto Ezekiel, also, thou son of man, 
Thus saith Yahweh the power unto the land of Israel. So this is clearly to the, toward the Israelites, right? And end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. The land, the Heavenly Father is telling Ezekiel, go tell these people I'm about to destroy them. Go tell them. The end of y'all is come for the wickedness that y'all have been doing. Now, if you read the book of Amos chapter 9, Amos 9, uh, Sirach so chapter 10 verse 8 because of unrighteous dealings injuries and riches gotten by the seat which is what these Edomites are doing but our people did this too the kingdom is translated from one people to another Esau is falling that's why they say make America great again in South Africa they're falling that's why people like this make bold bitch ass statements like this country is going to shit and uh, you know pfft, the sufferings. What? What the? What the hell are you talking about? Have you? For, these Edomites, they suffer from something that's called amnesia. They have a collective. They're collectively full of amnesia, like full of it, full of it, literally, as just as how I said it is. They are full of amnesia, full of shit, full of forgetness. You know, they forgot the things that they did. And they think that those things won't come back and haunt them. Even though they always speak about karma. Which is a, a, a demon god. An idol. So I don't use it. But they they, they use it. So that's why I'm saying it. Right. Your kingdom is being translated unto another. And guess who? Not the Chinese. Not the Arabs. Because they're going to get messed up too. And not the Africans. Neither. Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh, the eyes of Yahweh the power, are upon the sinful kingdom. In this case, it was actually the, the Judites, the kingdom of Judah. If you read this chapter. But, like the Lord saith here, like the Lord saith here, Second Esther chapter 15, verse 56. Also, wait, let me get this verse. Let me get this, let me get this. Jer no, Jer no, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. <clears throat> and Yahweh thy power will, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. These Edomites persecuted us. And all the curses that came upon us shall come upon them. That's what the Lord said. Second Esther 1556 like as thou like as thou has done unto my chosen which are the Israelites so that clearly it shows you that the Lord has his chosen people and who are the chosen people of the Lord Deuteronomy 7 and 7 6 for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God Yahweh thy power had chosen thee so they, these are the chosen who the Israelites to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor chose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people. And we started out with 36, as in the book of Genesis. Um, or was it 72? I think it was 70. Yeah, here. Exodus chapter 5. What did, what did I type in? Left to Egypt. Yeah, we went to Egypt. Uh, which is Exodus chapter five, chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1, verse 5. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already. So we went to Egypt have being in total being 70 souls. I'm not sure if 
Joseph and his two sons were counted in this. I need to read it again. But or it was 70 and then Joseph was already in Egypt. Then it would be then 73. 73 people, if I'm correct. Because it is then Manasseh and Ephraim, which would then but would be 3. And then plus the 70 would then be 73. Right. If, I, if I'm correct, I need to read it again, like I said. But yeah. All this here also. Genesis 46, 26. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which came out of his loins beside Jacob's son's wives, all the souls were three score and six. One score is 20. So three score is 60. A score, a group or set of 20 or about 20. In this case, it is 20. Three score 20. That's three times 20. That's 60. Two, four, six. And then six, which is 66, right? And then later on, um, you know, the other ones were there too. But in total, it was 70. Uh, and, 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 and if I'm correct, later on, it's 73 in total right so going on right so we are the chosen the Israelites are the chosen people of the Lord and if, if that didn't de like if that didn't uh, determine you or something I don't know how I said it uh, how to say it but if you're not convinced of that yeah yeah that's what I'm looking for if you're not convinced of that scripture then I have another one which is here if I'm correct Second Esther chapter six verse fifty-four. Okay, so what's happening? Uh no. Hmm. Strange. Second Esther six. Second Esther six fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou has whom thou made as Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Everybody comes from Adam, that's true. How? Through Noah, because he's the one that made it to the flood, and then came Shem. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, Shem, Japheth, and Ham. I, I, if it's that order, wait, let me see again. Yeah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Right, now it says here, of him come we all. And, and the people also whom thou has chosen so the lord has chosen the people that come out of adam which are the israelites as it is written here in the next chapter it says second Esther chapter 7 verse 10 and i said the eye is uh, uh, ezra it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, the Lord said it through the angel unto Ezra, even so also is Israel's portions. Because I made, because for their sakes, so for the Israelites' sakes, I made the world. So if anybody asks you, asks you or asks themselves, like, what is the purpose of life? The purpose of life is to serve the children of Israel. And you will. Once that time comes, you will. And when Adam transgressed my my statues, then was the creed that now is done. So that's why we are in the, 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 the predicament that we are in right now. So Second Esther chapter 6, verse 54. 55 actually now. Whom thou hast chosen, right? All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. That's the meaning of life. To serve the nation of Israel. And you will. Once that time comes. Your kings. Your queens. Isaiah 49 and 23. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers. And their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh the Lord. 
for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. That's why we are waiting for the Lord. I'm waiting for the Lord. I'm waiting for the Lord right now. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. That's why we don't have no weapons trying to go fight these devils. Why would we? That, that, would, be a, that would be a slaughter. Because <laughs> Romans chapter 13, it explains to you like, listen, don't go fight them. I put them there. It's like this. If your father and your mother leaves the house and they leave your oldest brother in charge, or maybe a family member, or just a stranger. No, 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 not a stranger. I mean, like, uh, somebody that's outside of the family. Like, uh, you know, a person that they trust, grew up with, or whatever. Leaves him in charge, or her. All the children, because the father and the mother, the father would say, Listen, I leave him in charge. I put him there, and you're going to listen to him. Whatever he or she says, you're going to do. Because y'all children, y'all need to be supervised. So the parents leave. Now, if one of the children doesn't want to listen to the person that has been put in charge by the parents, you're actually going against the parents. You're fighting the parents because they put that person in charge, whether it be your brother, whether it be a family friend, whether it be your aunt or your bigger or older cousin. It doesn't matter. That person is now in charge because it's your father's word, your parents' word. So if you fight against them, who are you fighting against? You are fighting against your parents. It's the same thing as a mafia guy. If a mafia person has taken ownership of a store, <clears throat> and then you go and rob that store, who did you just rob? <laughs> If he, t if he took ownership of that store, if he started to give his protection onto that store, and then one time when he ain't looking, you accidentally robbed that, not accidentally, you purposely went to rob that store, but if you knew that it was under the protection of the mob, <clears throat> most likely you wouldn't want to do that, but you did. So who did you just rob? <laughs> did you rob those people? Yes, you did. But who did you rob, actually? <laughs> You rob that mob guy. Okay. That's the same thing with trying to fight against Esau right now. The Heavenly Father put Esau over us because we was doing wicked stuff. But Esau furthered the affliction. Meaning, he was not allowed to do these do these things what he's doing right now. And, and uh, sorry, what he did back then and right now. Further. Because a lot of people were saying, well, it's your own fault. Because y'all broke the laws of the Lord. And that's why you got punished. Well, 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 well. If it isn't Satan himself. Trying to back it up. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 5, 15. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a li little displeased. And they helped further the affliction. Now, there was another one in uh, Jeremiah 49, if I'm correct. Jeremiah 49, and... Twelve. But thus saith the Lord, Behold, they, the Israelites, whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken. And that cup is that cup of slavery, that cup of turmoil, that cup of trembling. That cup of pain, and uh, wait, uh, and, and I can explain it. But let me, uh, let me go here, right? Right. So what that cup means is this. Uh, let me read it again. Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. For thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So what is that cup? Jeremiah 25 and 14. For many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also. That's, that's exactly what they did. And I will recompense them according to their deeds. So you're, you're going to serve of us. So basically you're going to eat off of our slavery. You know, you're going to become rich off of us. But the Lord is going to punish you for that. You're taking, yeah, you're going to take advantage of 
the things that have been happening to the Israelites. <clears throat> and you're going to be punished for that too. You heathen nations themselves, you, you also. And according to their works, sorry, and according to the works of their own hands, for thus saith Yahweh, the power of Israel, unto me, take the wine cup of this fury at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I sent thee to drink it. And they shall drink and be moved and be mad because of the sword that I will send among them. That's that cup. When we drank that cup, you see, violence has been committed against the kingdom of heaven, which are the so-called Diglos, Latinos, and Indianos. That's the violence that have been committed against the Israelites. Why? Because the Lord said, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So any person that fight against you is fighting against the kingdom of heaven. Because the real, <clears throat> the spiritual kingdom of heaven, where the Heavenly Father dwells, there's no war there. Why? Because he said, as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. So that shows you that in heaven there's ultimate peace, beauty, and all those type of things, which will be upon the planet earth, which the earth is Eden, and Eden means paradise. So the whole earth is Eden. Because righteousness was found here and wickedness was found here. That's in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, if I'm correct. In 15, right? Right. 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was here, was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. So, you have good and evil under the sun, which is the earth. Right? And the place of judgment. Here is where you get your judgment, your punishment. Or your just reward. If you did good. 17 Jeremiah 25 and 17 then took I the cup at the Lord's hand and made all the nations to drink which is the words of the Lord to come and give you that pain bitter word oh uh, the Bible is only for the Israelites what are you saying <laughs> there's that that's that cup here you go take a sip mm. it was bitter I hate it they don't want it they don't want to hear it unto whom the Lord had sent me. And he will name all the places, verse 20, and all the mingled people. Wait, let me just read on. Uh, to wit, Jerusalem, the Israelites, and the cities of Judah, and the kings thereof, and the princes thereof, to make them a desolation. They're going to get destroyed too. An astonishment, a hiss and hissing, and a curse, as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and his servants, and his princes, and all his people, so who went there? Jeremiah. He went to all of them. The wicked Israelites that didn't want to follow after Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai, his laws, his ways, his statutes, and his commandments didn't want to hear. Okay, you're going to get cursed. Pharaoh, you don't want to hear. You're going to get destroyed and all your people. And all the mingled people and all the, la all, all the kings of the land of Uz and all the kings of the land of the Philistines and Ashkelon and Azah and Akron and the remnant of Ashdod which were all Hamites, by the way. These places were where the Hamites were. And this was in Mesopotamia. I forgot where this was. Sorry, you could look it up if you have the time. This, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure again. Ashkelon is in where the Hamites, the Philistines were the Hamites, Ashdod were the Hamites. Let me see, ancient, ancient map. Ancient map location. Oh yeah, we're Hamites, right. You have to understand, the land of Canaan, Hamites were here. Here, the Canaanites, the Philistines, Parasites, Hivites, Canaanites, Amorites, Jebusites, Hittites, Arim, Anakin, the big people, giants. Uh, Amalekites, which were uh, these, uh, these, uh, the Amalekites, you know, these people that call themselves Israelis. The Kenites, the Edomites, which are the Caucasian people, the rest of the Caucasian, these are Caucasians too, by the way. These, this, this is the head tribe of Esau, the Edomites, the head tribe of the Edomites. Moabites, Chinese, Zuzim, which were also big uh, giant people. Uh, Ammonites, em, Emin, Emim, which were also giants. Horem. Yeah, you can find that in the scriptures, as you can see here. 
um, mm here as you can see Deuteronomy chapter 2 wait let me get that Deuteronomy chapter 2 I don't even know that uh, thing there Deuteronomy chapter 2 and 10 oh, where is it? Mm. here 10 oh I was like, wow. <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> but I was reading here, sorry. <clears throat> I was actually reading here, but, you know, I was going to go to 10. But anyway, 10. The Emims dwelt therein in past time. <clears throat> in time past. Times past. A people great and many and tall as the Anakims. So these were giants too. This was another tribe of giants, and just and they was just as big as the Anakims, which was another tribe of giant giants, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims. So the Emims were giants, but the Moabites called them Emims, right? And then you had another word for them. Mm. That 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 is what I was looking for, because of R no. Anyway, you have another one, which is where is it again? Uh, Zizim. Zizim, where was that again? These these were these were oh yeah oh yeah, yeah look at it look at it. You have the Raphaims right? The Raphaims were actually giants and the Zizims were giants in Ham. The Zuzins, the Ham was another tribe, a whole region of them. The Emims, uh, the, uh, I think, yeah, the, the, the Rephaims were also giants. Yeah, the Emims uh, were also giants. But the Rephaims were giants that, how, how, what's his name again? The Ammonites used to call them uh, Rephaims. Here, Genesis 15, 16, 20, sorry. The Rephaims, what was the spread it, spread it valley of Rephaims, Rephaims. Okay. Eh. Rephaim. Um, wait. Mm. I, I need to go shit I need to go read this again man uh, let me see yeah I remember it was in Joshua then if I'm correct yeah right let's see that then Joshua chapter 16, sorry, chapter 15, verse 8. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, under the south side of the of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. <laughs> it's the same place, but another name. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward, but it's go it's it's uh, alluding to Raphaim. Raphaim. So no, sorry, um, so called Raphaim, you know. And the border, the, the valley of the giants north. You know what? Let me just go here, and let me type the word in. Raphaim. You had the Philistines, wait, sorry. Arab Haim. Sorry. Arab Haim, right. The Philistines also spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Oh. 
See, this is why you need to keep on reading. <laughs> yeah, we we'll click on this word. I read it. I read it. I just do, I do can't remember it again. But need to read it again. Just like a movie. If you see the movie often, you will know it off of the top of your dome. But uh, I need to go and read this chat, these chapters again. Sorry. But just check out this word. Hebrew 7497. Hebrew 7497. Rapa Ayam. Which is giants, old tribe of giants, but, but that, that's basically what it is. So I can remove all that. I really need to go up in it again. Sorry. Yeah. Um, as, uh, okay. Sorry. Here. Right. So yeah, you had this place and stuff like that, you know, all these places. And so these are giants. These are giants. Um, the, the Horites were also giants too, by the way. They were also very big people. But, 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 but anyway, that's a whole other topic. The point is that. You know, uh, they, they, these are Hamites and, and all that there. And these are people of Mesopotamia. And the remnant of Ashton. Okay, okay, going on, going on. Uh, right, 36 minutes, okay. Edom and Moab and the children of Ammon, which is Caucasian people, Chinese and Japanese. All the kings of Tyrus. Back in the days you had... Oh, Tyrus, what was this again? I think this was... Um, <coughs> Hamites again. Forgive me for not... 100% remembering all the pieces uh, ancient map location. yeah Tyree <laughs> Hamites Hamites again right you have like I said you have to understand this is the land of Canaan which was then changed into the land of Israel but it was the land of Canaan so Hamites were here now were there Mo Mo uh, Moabites and Ammon and stuff like that yeah, but not often, you know, just like how you have mm, China or India or Japan right now, you don't have a lot of mixed breed in those countries because they tend to stick to their own most of the time, right? And all the kings of Zidon, which was a Ham, were, were Hamites, and the kings of the Isles, which are beyond the sea, the Dan and Tema and Buz. And all that are in the utmost corners. Okay, I'm not gonna say everybody because I need to look it up again. <laughs> Twenty-four. And all the kings of Arabia, which are Ham uh, Ishmaelites, and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the desert. Like I said, you had the people that was mingled among them, as you can see here. And of course, as you can see here, you had people mingled them among them, right, in certain places. And all the kings of Zimri, and all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of me of the Medes, and all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth, and the kings of Shishach shall drink after them. Therefore, thou shalt say unto them, The Savior Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, Drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more. That's what you get from drinking that cup of the Lord, which is mentioned here. The wine cup of his fury. Because of the sword which I will send among them. So all these people are going to get destroyed. They got destroyed back then. But this is going to talk about now, again, as in prophecy, all these people are going to eat and drink of that cup. They're going to eat the pain. And drink of that cup of the Lord. They eat the bread of adversity and drink the cup of uh, pain. <laughs> Verse 28. And it shall come to pass, if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. And that's what we're telling them right now. For lo, I, will, I, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name, which is the Israelites. And should ye be utterly unpunished? Right. So the Lord said, I will kill my own people and bring evil upon them. So, right? Because it says right here, <coughs> evil in the city. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And that trumpet, you can read about it in the book of let me let me get it for you so that you can you know do it uh, once you have the time 
sorry, Ezekiel 33, if I'm correct, right? Right. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land. So the Lord said this. He told Ezekiel, Go tell them. <laughs> Go tell them I'm about to come and kill them. Allow them to be killed. If the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman, if when he see it, the sword come upon the land, because people will come with war, because the Lord told them, go fight these people because they're wicked. But the ones among them that are not wicked, let them flee because I don't want to kill them. But I will kill these people because they're wicked. You know? Hey, uh, you're, 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 you're in the midst of them. So you're going to die too. If you don't listen. He blow the trumpet. And warn the people. So let me read it again. If when he see it the sword come upon the land. He blow the trumpet. And warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. And take it not warning. If the sword come and take him away. His blood shall be upon his own head. Why? Right. Because you heard the sound of the trumpet, but you did not take any warning of it. Just like how we are teaching right now on the streets, and the majority of the people are just our people are just walking by. <laughs> it's beautiful, actually, if you think about it. Because once that time comes, we get to wipe the blood off of our hand. Like, I told them they didn't want to listen. I told them. They was the, oh, this, these niggas racist. They hate the white people. Nigga, I hate you, too. But if you turn to the Lord, I'm going to like you. I'm going to love you. <laughs> but if you don't, I hate your guts. Middle finger to you too. Just as how many have shown their middle finger when they walk by when we teach on the street. It's niggas doing it, you know. Going on. Verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet that took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. Upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken in his iniquity, in your own sins, yes, but his blood where I require at the watchman's hand. So, back in the days they used to blow a physical trumpet, something like that. But nowadays we're blowing the trumpet because, um, let me see, spare not. Let me see, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. We're telling you what you're doing wrong according to the scriptures. We're reading the scriptures for you and we're screaming kind of like a trumpet. We're, 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 we're sounding the trumpet by sounding the alarm. And most of the people are not listening. So it's all good. You know. But we are doing our job which is, you know, telling you what how to do your job. We're telling you how to do it. Because we're reading it right here. And we're trying to do the, the best the same thing to the best of our ability as we tell you to do according to the scriptures <laughs> right so yeah Amos 3 and 6 shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it he's the one that brings evil upon you because he, he tells you like hey I'm about to kill these people for the wickedness that they that they're doing so go and warn them so that they stop and save themselves from the evil that I will bring upon them for the evil that they're doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 29. For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. And shall ye, and should ye be utterly unpunished, you other nations, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, saith the Lord of hosts. Now you can read the rest of it because it's very beautiful, but I'm going off of topic actually, which I'm not, I didn't want to. But 
you know, that this is this is literally how I do things. I don't know. I can't stop it. <laughs> but it's a good topic, actually. It's a good uh, chapter. Sorry, it's a good chapter. But uh, Jeremiah forty nine and nineteen. For thus saith the Lord. Oh shit! Did I? I had more here. Right, right. I had more. Isaiah forty seven and six. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance. That's what the Lord did unto us. And given them into thine hand, thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient, the older one of us, thou hast very heavily laid thy yoke. That's why you got to watch this video. To show yourself what the Dutch did to our people. In, in Dutch Guyana, which is Suriname and stuff like that. Just, just go check what they did. Go, 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 look. I'll put the link in the description box. So they was very cruel. Hmm. Cool. Because a lot of people might say, Well, y'all broke the law of the Lord. So that's why you got punished for your own wickedness. <laughs> y'all sold yourselves. <laughs> cool. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. You think nothing is going to happen to you. For the things that you have done upon uh, my people, saith the Lord. Thou saidest, and thou saidest, I shall, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. You never considered that all these things that you did to our people, that you're going to pay for that. You're not even thinking about it. You're like, oh, it's in the past. You know, one who has his face toward the past. As his back toward the future. That's what they're saying, right? <laughs> That's one of the things that they love to say. Or you sold your own people. So it doesn't matter if we rape, robbed, murdered, castrated you, blinded you, tortured you, experimented on you, uh, do all type of manners, crazy shit upon you. You know? Uh, it doesn't matter. You sold yourself. So I'm, I'm justified by doing all these things. Good. It's all good. You see, I'm not trying to, you know, we're going to see who will play the victim once we get that power. Once we get that power. I ain't on that victim tip. I'm trying to um, accuse you of what you're doing. And then, therefore, judgment is going to be passed by the Lord. And once the Lord gives his men, let, let me read it. Beautiful scriptures. Jeremiah 16, 16. Behold, I was sent for many fishes, saith the Lord. Also watchmen, also prophets, also because they they're fishing, they're fishing the Israelites. Like, hey, do you want to listen? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Then we go to another pond. Hey, do you want to listen? And the fish bite. Hmm. Yeah, I like this word. And then we reading. Uh, he he's eating the book. We're reading and he's eating. Ezekiel chapter three, verse one. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest eat this roll which is a script scroll and go speak unto the house of Israel so what we're doing is we are learning at home and then we go on the street and then we talk to you about the scriptures what we have learned just like Ezekiel which was sent by the Heavenly Father so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll and he said unto me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel, not to the world, and speak with my words unto them. Which words? The words that you have been eating, which is these scriptures. The book of Proverbs, chapter 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 explains to you what this word is it is food it is drink it is a woman it is a very beautiful woman it's your cousin it's your friend it's your first love your first love that's it also and it is your mother the book of Sarah 4 explains that also to you from Sarah 4 and 11 which is in the Apocrypha right which is Ecclesiasticus not Ecclesiastes 4 Chapter four, verse eleven, if I'm correct. You should read the whole chapter, but you gonna you gonna you gonna bump into it. Now, going on. So it says, For thou art not sent 
to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. So yeah, you can read the rest if you have the time. The point is that Jeremiah 16 and 16, Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Matthew chapter 22, you can read for that. This is what we're doing, Matthew 22. You can read that if you have the time. First 1 until first 14. And after, will, so after he sends for the fishes, after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, every government, and from every hill, every less government, like a smaller country, and out of the holes of the rocks. It doesn't matter where you are, where you live, the Lord will send a hunter to come and get you. And the hunter is not going to come and play PlayStation with you, you know, or go shopping at the mall. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. So you're going to pay. And that hunter will come with superpowers and spiritual powers. And he's not going to be like in a Marvel movie where you're going to win eventually. Because uh, that's just the movies, man. You don't remember it. Neither did it remember the latter end of it. So let me read it again. <clears throat> Isaiah 47 and 6. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient, thou hast very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. <laughs> you, you think? So that thou didst not lay these things to thine heart. Neither did it remember the latter end of it. All, all throughout the scriptures, everybody that enslaved the Israelites got destroyed. But these people, these Edomites, they do not, they do not, you know, denoting the second or second mention of two people or things. Occurring or situated nearer to the end of something than to the beginning. So, in the beginning, you had fun raping our females, doing all type of crazy stuff. You had fun, you had fun. But you didn't remember, you didn't think of the latter, what would happen to you for doing all those things. Enslaved us, hung us, burned us, castrated, lynched us. I had the list goes on. Just watch this thing. And this is just, this is not even 0.01%. This is just a flinch in, uh, in history of what they did. You know, it, it, you, can, you can check it out for yourself. Right. Zechariah 2 and 8. For thus saith Yahweh the, the power, the Lord, the Lord of hosts. After the glory had he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. So Zechariah also went to the nations that robbed us. What is spoil? Spoil is buoy. I typed that in. Spoil. More commonly spoils. Applies to what belongs by right or custom to the victor in war or political contest plunder applies to what is taken not only in war but robbery banditry grafting or swindling booty implies plunder to be shared among confederates which are people that you are in alliance with a person who works with especially in something secret or illegal an accomplice 